This is James here with MMAFightPass.com, here with Kevin King Casey, Bellator 170. Kevin, I'm just going to talk out. I'm going to talk out as a fan. I am a jiu-jitsu practitioner myself, and when I read about you and found out, watched your history, and found out you were pretty much basically raised with the races, it, it was just incredible. It's something that we study about. It's something that we go and train and try to learn all the moves and all the secrets, and here you are, your best friend. Is, you know, you're just part of the you're part of the Gracies, like the family. Can you yeah, talk about that a little feel, bit? I feel blessed, you know, at, at, at my position in the universe. You know, these, these you know the Gracie family. These were people who were just my friends growing up. You know, uh, these were people that I looked up to, and it had, originally it had nothing to do with, with martial arts. I, I didn't even realize I was a kid, you know, 11, 12 years old. I didn't even realize what they did for for a living. You know, UFC hadn't hadn't come out yet. You know, we're just in the backyard eating barbecue and just having fun, yeah. jumping on the trampoline, things like that. And then to see the uh, the UFC come about and you know to start watching some MMA videos, Valley Tudo original videos from Brazil. I mean, this was this was something that hadn't even been done in the states. And so I, I saw some of the ground workings and how everything got built up. I remember when they were talking about the design for the cage and gonna, it's going to be an octagon and things like that. And, and you're just sitting there in the living room just listening. A kid, just a kid. And then, you know, to watch, to watch some of Hoist Grace's uh, first training camp with Hickson. And, uh, you know, then to see Hickson fighting. To ultimately have almost like a, a, a inside view, an inside uh, ear of what were what was to come. So I knew, I knew that things would get to this level. You know, I, I didn't know if it would happen in, in, in the time that I would be able to compete, but I knew that it would get to this level because I, I saw the masterminds at work. Yes, you did. Well, that's great. That's really great. Another touch base on the boxing. You didn't take, did you take big foreign boxing? Did you, because you took after jiu-jitsu most, yeah. most of your time, and then boxing, you would think, because Ali, that you're, you know, you would box more. And most of all, your fights are, are groundwork. I love it. I see you when you're fighting in the cage. It's in the, you end up in the guard a lot. Yeah. And I, I noticed that. Well, I have to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I started Kimbo Karate when I was about nine years old. So that was my first introduction. Once I, once I met the Gracies and, and saw the effectiveness of Jiu-Jitsu, I was completely, you know, absorbed in that. But, you know, moving on a little bit later in my career and having some of the pressures from some of the promoters to uh, to go out there and make the fights more more exciting. People they wanted to see knockouts. There were times where you know I, I had UFC fights and you know, Dana White would be in, backstage and you know he was very much almost a, it almost felt like he was against the grappling. Like, yeah. he, like he didn't want to see us go out there and, and do what we do. And, and you feel that pressure as a, as, a, as an athlete to go out there and oh, okay. you know, ultimately make the boss happy, make you know give him something so exciting. You, you couldn't pretty much what I'm hearing is you couldn't fight to your effect because you're trying to make the boss happy in a in a way feel like keep your it, job it, it, and now exactly you don't want you don't want them to feel like you're you're a boring boring type of fighter you know and then you know to to go on to to, to be in, a, in the Ali family and, and getting that inspiration of, of being around Muhammad Ali of course I felt like in my mind like how could I be Muhammad Ali's son-in-law and not knock somebody out you know what I mean yeah. so, uh, that kind of, uh, at a certain point, made me get away from what I was, what I was about in the jiu-jitsu. Well, Black House, Kevin King Casey, thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. I hope you go out there, and do your thing, and Thanks, submit. Brother. Appreciate it. Thank you.